welcome to at the next stop sign. Turn right. Sorry. <laughs> How rude, Surrey, interrupting me in my intro. <laughs> I am on my way to the uh 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 why did it have me turn into a right aid? Turn left, then turn right. Okay, now we're back on the road. <laughs> that was weird. So I am on my way to meet some friends, actually some of the same ones that- At the stop sign, turn right you. Night I'm meeting some of the same people who I did the Northern State Ghost Town and Asylum hike with. In a quarter mile. This time, we're exploring the Lime Kiln Trailhead, just east of Everett, near Granite Falls, Washington. There's part of the crew right there, but they probably don't recognize this car, because when I went to make a video last time, my car exploded. Before we get too far in on this trail, how about a little bit of history? A brief gold rush in 1889 brought prospectors to their mining camps by way of the Everett Monte Cristo Railroad which is the path we are currently walking on right now. Do you hear that? It sounds like a train. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, are we gonna be watching this video through my eyes? Yeah, something like that. Although the railroad line was abandoned during the Great Depression and removed a few years before World War II, the trail continues on. And I just learned that there is a Monte Cristo ghost town that we may hike to in the near future. This is so awesome out here. It makes me want to go camping. That's what we need to do. A camping video where we camp with Sasquatch and aliens. This hike, although beautiful in nature, is listed as one of the most haunted hikes in Washington state. Even the tree limbs are beautiful, yet creepy. They look like giant furry hands that could just reach down and grab you. Claire? Oh, there she is. Time to watch Gary fall into the ravine. My dad was an iron worker and he used to do this way up high. I can't imagine. How old were you, tree? One, two, let's say two. Moving on. The kiln, which stands about 20 feet tall, was built in the 1890s and used until the early 1930s to convert limestone into lime, or calcium oxide. It was then transported by the adjoining railroad to places in the Everett area. On three sides of the kiln, there are stoking ports where fires would have been tended and... <laughs> They're in my hair! They're in my hair! At the base of the lime kiln, amongst the fern and the fauna, you will also find rusty saw blades and other tools, all from a time when this kiln was in use. Nearly a mile beyond the kiln, the trail comes to an end. It loops around to where a former bridge <laughs> once crossed the Stillaguamish River. And yes, after all of these years, it is still a Guamish River. <laughs> what was that? Oh my God. You guys, run! Oh, phew. Although there are hauntings reported along this trail, there are no river monsters. <laughs> Apparently, there are quite a few lime kiln ruins out there in the U.S., not to mention in Canada, France, Germany, Hong Kong, Hungary, Ireland, Italy, Sweden, to name a few. Whether or not those are haunted as well, I may never know. But this hike is one that I would like to do again, maybe towards the fall when things start changing colors. Speaking of colors, look at the color of this mushroom. Anyways, that's all I have for you tonight. Until next time. Boosh! Ah! At the next stop sign, turn right. Turn left, then turn right. Turn left, turn right. Bear left onto Waitman Road.